Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have D, we have did about the authentication sign up request we have did, and we got the token and also the expiration date and all those things we have got. Now what we'll try to do is in this uh, video we will try to add the loading spinner in this one and also we'll try to show the general uh, basic error message we'll try to show it okay so how to add the loading spinner for this one for example when we are trying to submit the request and when we click on the sign up or login so we need to show the loading that the request has been sent and we are trying to get the response and we will get the response whether it is an error or a success message we need to remove that uh, uh, loading message loading symbol loading symbol and we need to, we need to show that corresponding message uh, corresponding page so let's try to do that loading spinner how we can do this one in the angler so before continuing to this video if you are coming first time here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i will be posting more and more front end development courses now coming to this video i will be using css loading spinner css loading spinner if you type in google css loading spinner you will be able to get the first one pure css loader so what I will try to do is I will try to use this this uh, CSS source. If I open this one, I will be getting the source code, source code like this. So what I will try to do is first let's go to the code and let's try to create a new component. So in this app component, let's try to create a new component. So this component uh, will be used by all the components. So what we will try to do is we will try to create a shared folder. In this shared folder, what we will do is in the shared folder we will try to create a new folder that is nothing but loading spinner okay so in this loading spinner what i will try to do here i will try to create new new two new files that is component loading spinner dot component dot ts and another one is nothing but loading spinner loading spinner dot component dot css so these are the two files what i will be trying to create and let's go to the <coughs> ts file uh, sorry let's go to the first css file and try to copy this all the css so i copied this all the css and i have pasted it here okay now first first is first is finished now try to create the component now let's go here and I write export class loading spinner component Okay, this is the component and I can go here and I can write at the rate component so I can use this component automatically so let's try to create the component component so here we will be using the selector so app hyphen loading hyphen spinner I can use this one directly and I can use template instead of template url i am using the template why because we have only the little bit of template code only right so that is the reason i am using this template directly and here i can go and i can go here i can write style urls and in this one i can write loading spinner dot component dot css okay so this is the how i am using so here the component we need to import this component right so let's try to import this component so what we need to do is so let's try to add this component here okay import component sorry import component from at the rate angular slash core we can write like this okay so we have imported the component so first one is finished and what we need to do is we need to import this component in the app module so we need to import this component in the app module if you go to the app module.ts and here in this one what we need to do is we need to import the component here i can go down and in this declarations i need to write loading so if i if i click here so we will be getting the intelligence loading so here if i click here loading spinner we will be getting the loading spinner component and we have written the loading spinner component this should be imported automatically at the top so we need to include it so we we have imported the loading spinner we have created a new component loading spinner now what we will try to do we will try to use it in the auth component.css html 
So now here if I go to the auth component.ts file. So let's try to add one variable that is nothing but what I can do is is loading is equal to false. First time is loading is false. When it become when it should become true is so when we got a, when we get a response. So here I can write this dot is loading is equal to true. I can keep this dot loading is equal to true and here also I can keep this dot is loading is equal to true. Okay. So these are the, in these two places. Sorry. So here I need to keep it as false. So when it I need to keep it as true is on form submit. So when we are submitting the form here, so I need to do this dot is loading is equal to true. So when this validations everything is gone uh, true means then is it true? I need to after getting the response I need to make it false here. So I can make it. Sorry. I can make it here false and this one also I can make it here false okay so I made it false in the both the places now I need to use this one so where I need to use this I need to use this one in the auth component.html if I go and if I write in the auth component.html now here in this one when this form we need to show is when ng if is equal to not of is loading so if the is loading is false only we need to show this form so now here i will be writing div here i can write app hyphen loading hyphen spinner so this is the spinner what i will be trying to do so here what i, what I can do is Star ng if is equal to what I can do is if is loading if it is loading only then I need to show this spinner so if it is loading when this loading only I need to show this spinner if it is not loading means then I can show this form so this is the basic thing what I will be writing now here what I did in the auth, auth component.ts so what I what I was doing is in the auth component.ts first I took that is loading is false then afterwards so I'm, uh, when we are trying to make the request, I am making is loading is true. So when we got successfully the response, we are making it as false so that we will be not showing the form. Now here what I will try to do is here I will try to do this request. So now if I try to do this request, test at the rate test.com 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 I have written. Switch to sign up and click on sign up. So if I click on sign up, we are not getting anything. Why? Because the console, the console, we got 400 request. Fine. And when I click on sign up, again we are not getting anything. Why? Because so let's go and let's check. So in the load com loading spinner component, uh, let's check in the path component dot html. Okay. So let's reverse this one. Okay. So that we will be showing all the time the spinner let us refresh and if i try to see we are not able to see the loading spinner why because app iphone loading iphone spinner okay fine so what is the selector we have used it here app iphone loading iphone spinner fine this is the fine we are used we have used it this one correct only and the app module also we have declared this one so in the declarations we have used the app loading spinner component fine in the auth component at html also we have used this one app iphone loading iphone spinner if it is not loading we need to show this one okay so so far so good not a problem and let's try to see this again and we are not able to see anything what is the reason we are not able to see anything if i go here and here we are getting able to get the uh, what we can say the loader but we are not able to see why because means that is in the white color so that is the reason we are getting that one in the we are not able to see so if we can go here and we can change the color border color of this one so what i can change here so i can change it to blue so directly i'll change it to blue so that it will be fine so now if i refresh this code now we need to show we need we need to able to see this loading symbol yeah now we are able to see this loading symbol what we will try to do is we will try to make it center 
and we'll try to give it some gap so you can go here and i can do class is equal to text hyphen center and i can write my hyphen 4 now if i see the loading symbol now it should be in the center so let it refresh now it is in the center i am fine so what i can do is i can go back to the normal so is loading when it is loading only i need to show this one so if i go here and if i see now if i close this one I refresh yeah we let's write the test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six switch to sign up and we will click so we got the loading symbol and we got it again in this one now what we'll try to do is we'll try to show the some error message what i will try to do here i will keep another another url another variable sorry here error is equal to null so i am keeping error is equal to null and here what i can do is of type string so now when we are getting any error or something like this what i can do is this dot error is equal to an error occurred okay i am just showing a generic message an error occurred okay an error occurred i am showing an error occurred so now what i can do here i can go to auth component.html so in the same scenario if i write here do class is equal to alert alert hyphen danger and i can do my hyphen 4 or something like this and here i can write ng if if error is there if error is there then please show the error message directly so this is the basic thing what i will be writing now if i go so what i am doing so first time error will not be there so if any error occurs or anything so just i am showing alert alert type and danger this is a bootstrap classes i am showing the error message so here if i go and if i try to write here test at the rate test.com and one two three four five six and switch to sign up and click here and we are showing that an error occurred so somehow we are showing some error and we have added the loading spinner also so now in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to show the more improvement in the error handling we will try to see so this is how we will be adding the loading spinner for the authentication form for any form you can use this one and also the error message we will try we, we are trying to show so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you